بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹ اینڈ ویلکم ان کالج فزکس سو اسٹوڈنٹ آج ہم ڈسکس کریں گے گریویٹیشنل پوٹینشیل ڈیو ٹو اے یونیفارم تین اسپیریکل شیل سو آئیے اسٹارٹ کرتے ہیں بفور دا ڈیرائیویشن آف گریویٹیشنل پوٹینشیل ڈیو ٹو اے یونیفارم تین اسپیریکل شیل لیٹ کنسیڈر وی ہیو ٹو آبجیکٹ ون ایز کیپیٹل ماس ایم اینڈ ادر آبجیکٹ ہیونگ ماس small m and this small m is r distance away from the center of mass of this capital m now the gravitational potential energy of this small m due to this capital mass m will be what that is minus g m m divided by small r if we divide both side by small m so we obtain potential energy divided by mass of this small object equal to minus g mass of the spherical shell divided by r which is the distance between small m and capital m now this ratio is known as gravitational potential which is denoted by v and equal to this one now if this small m is at the surface of capital m then its potential energy of this small m due to this capital m is what this one again divide both side by small m we obtain this one and this potential energy forward mass is known as gravitational potential so this show the gravitational potential of this capital m if this capital m is equal to mass of the earth and this m is mass of any object then gravitational potential of earth at this point p at which small m is placed v equal to minus g m divided by r now the gravitational potential due to a uniform thin spherical shell thin spherical shell kya hota hai that spherical object which is hollow inside is known as spherical shell like a pot ball ٹینس بال اینڈ سو آن اب ہم نے معلوم کرنا ہے کہ ہمارے پاس یہ ایک تین اسپیریکل شیل ہے جس کا ماس ہے کیپیٹل ایم اور اس کا ریڈیس ہے کیپیٹل آر اور ہم نے معلوم کرنا ہے کہ ہمارے پاس کوئی بھی آبجیکٹ ہو اس پوائنٹ پی پر پڑا ہو یا سمپل اس پوائنٹ پی پر جو ہے اس کیپیٹل ایم کی گریویٹیشن پوٹینشیل کی ویلو کیا ہوگی دین اگر یہ پوائنٹ پی ہم اس یہاں پر رکھیں تو اس پوائنٹ پر مین ایٹ دا سرفیس آف دا کیپیٹل ایم وٹ ول بی گریویٹیشنل پوٹینشیل اور پھر اسی پوائنٹ کو اگر ہم ان سائڈ دا اسپیریکل شیل میں رکھیں تو ہم نے پھر معلوم کرنا ہے کہ ان سائڈ دا اسپیریکل شیل گریویٹیشنل پوٹینشیل اب شیل کی اکویشن کیا ہوگی سو لیٹ کنسیڈر اسپیریکل شیل اپ ماس کیپیٹل ایم ہیونگ ریڈیس آر ٹو فائنڈ اے گریویٹیشنل پوٹینشیل ایٹ اے پوائنٹ پی due to the whole spherical shell we constructed a ring of thickness r d theta and radius r sin theta and the gravitational potential of small element d is what let's suppose this is point p which is z distance away from this point a correct and this point p is small r distance away from this point o correct now agar hum is point p par gravitational potential ko maloom karna chahte hain to hum kya karenge yahan par hum ek رنگ کو کنسٹرکٹ کریں گے کریکٹ اینڈ دا تھکنیس آف دس رنگ از آر ڈی تھیٹا دس از آور ریڈیس آر اینڈ وین دس پوائنٹ از موو فرام دس پوائنٹ ٹو دس پوائنٹ دین تھیٹا ول بی کور ڈی تھیٹا اینڈ ریڈیس دس از آر اینڈ دس از آر سو آر سو دس ول بی دا آرک آف دا لینتھ ساری آرک آف دا رنگ دیٹ از اسی کو ٹو آر تھیٹا آر آرک our thickness of the ring is what r will be replaced by r and theta will be replaced by d theta so this is the thickness of the ring and at this point there is a small object which mass is dm is placed correct now the gravitational potential due to this small dm at this point b is defined as this one sahi now we need to find out radius of this ring So this is our capital R. This will be our 
perpendicular and this will be our base so in this triangle this show r sin theta and this r sin theta is the radius of the ring while capital r is the radius of the whole thin spherical shell now agar hum is equation ko dekhe to equation hame show karta hai gravitational potential at point p due to this small element d now we are interested to find out gravitational potential at point p due to the spherical shell which mass is capital m so replace this dm by some other value means the dm which is mass of the ring simply define as mass of the ring can be defined as mass of the sphere divided by area of the sphere multiplied by area of the ring but mass of the sphere is capital m area of the sphere the sphere is 4 pi r square and area of the ring is circumference of the ring multiplied by thickness of the ring now circumference of the ring is what circumference means 2 pi r but per ring radius r equal to r sin theta so circumference of the ring is 2 pi r sin theta and thickness of the ring is r d theta so by simplify this expression we obtain d m equal to m over 2 sin theta into d theta this is the value of small element m d m in terms of capital mass of the thin spherical shell now putting the value of d m in equation number in equation number 1 but before it's putting let substitute this sin theta d theta by some other value as from figure from figure this op is known as small r this ap is known as g and this ao is known as radius of the thin spherical shell so we have a triangle that is oa and p and from the law of cosine the relation between these three variable that is g square equal to r square plus small r square minus 2 small r r into cos theta now differentiate this equation with respect to theta so we obtain this expression here radius r is constant because it doesn't change with the value of theta agar isko hum jis point par bhi le jaye means r ko agar hum yahan draw kare yahan draw kare yahan draw kare lekin ye theta se independent hai ye constant rehta hai means theta par dependent nahi karta so this derivative of this capital r is zero similarly small r square it is also constant this distance op is constant correct only this distance ap is वेरिएबल मीन्स अगर ए को हम यहाँ पर रखें तो हमारे पास जी ये होगा लेकिन अगर इस ए को हम यहाँ पर रखें तो हमारे पास जी चेंज होगा अगर इस पॉइंट ए को हम यहाँ पर रखें तो हमारे पास जो है जी चेंज होगा लेकिन ये आर जो है थीटा के साथ वेरी नहीं होता सो मीन्स पर एंगल थीटा दिस आर एंड दिस विल बी कॉन्स्टेंट सो बाई डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग दिस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू थीटा वी एफ टेन दिस एक्सप्रेशन r by simplify this we obtain sin theta d theta equal to z d z divided by small r and capital r now putting the value of sin theta d theta in equation number 2 so we obtain the mass of the small element d equal to this one now putting this equation into equation number 1 as we know that gravitational potential due to small element d m is this one now putting the value of d m from here and by simplify we obtain gravitational potential due to dm equal to this one this is gravitational potential due to small element dm now consequences of this expression consequences of this expression case 1 p is outside the shell such that small r is capital greater than capital r to find gravitational potential due to whole sphere outside the sphere we will integrate the wave equation for small element mass dm for this we need to find the limit of z ab yaad rakhiye is equation ko humne integrate karna hai with respect to z so we need to find out the limit of z so for this let's suppose case number 1 agar hamare paas point yahan par ho aur is point par hum interested hai 
to find out the gravitational potential of the thin spherical shell, then we need to find out the limit of z. Means, if we draw a straight line for drag kare, and this line show the z axis. This one. This is our z axis. Correct? Now, the limit of z, if we this point a, ko hum yaha par rake, correct? Then we need to find out this distance a p which is also known as z in terms of small r and capital R. So this is the lower limit of z. Similarly, if we this point p par hum gravitational potential ko maloom karna chahte hai due to whole sphere and if we have find this one on the thin spherical shell then gravitational potential ya yeah, the limit of z will be what? This is the lower limit of z that is a p and this is our z a p this one means humne is distance ko jo ke humare paas lower limit hai z ke is ko malum karna hai in term of small r and capital R aur pir this distance ko humne malum karna hai in terms of small r and capital R and this will be the limit of our z so from figure o p equal to o a plus a p means this distance o p is equal to o a plus a p but we know that o a is capital r and a p is z correct and this p o is known as small r so by putting the values we obtain the lower limit of z this one similarly the upper limit of z means this is our point p our is point p par jo hai hum z ki limit ko maloom karna chahte hai means e point p jo hai is point se kitni duri par hai isko humne maloom karna hai correct so from this a o o p means this distance a p is equal to what a o plus o p by putting the value we obtain z equal to small r and capital r so this is the upper limit of z now integrate the equation agar is equation ko hum integrate kare our limit of z ko put kare r minus z and r plus z so we obtain this expression so by integrating this we obtain z lower limit upper limit by putting the values upper limit minus lower limit and by simplify we obtain the gravitational potential v outside the sphere v equal to minus g capital m divided by small r, r it simply means gravitational potential outside the sphere is inversely proportional to distance r means जितनी भी हम किसी भी स्पेरिकल शेल से दूरी पर जाए तो हमारे पास उसकी जो ग्रेविटेशनल पोटेंशियल की वैल्यू होगी उसमें डिक्रीज आएगी सिमिलरली केस नंबर टू व्हेन फाइंड पी एट द सरफेस ऑफ थिन स्पेरिकल शेल ये हमारे पास कोई भी थिन स्पेरिकल शेल है और इस पॉइंट पी पर हमारे पास कोई ऑब्जेक्ट पड़ा हो तो फिर इस थिन स्पेरिकल शेल की ग्रेविटेशनल पोटेंशियल वैल्यू क्या होगी इस पॉइंट पर तो सिंपली वी नो दैट वी इक्वल टू माइनस जी capital M by small r, r, v is a function of r, so this expression can be written as r simply put r equal to r, so we obtain gravitational potential at the surface of the spherical shell is equal to this one. Now case number 3, if p is inside the spherical shell, then what will be gravitational potential? As the general expression for finding v at a point is due to small element is this one. Correct. Now to find V inside, let first define the limit of Z inside the spherical shell. Again, हमने इसको integrate करना है, लेकिन Z की limit को मालूम करना है. Means, अगर हमारे पास ये point P यहाँ पर ना हो, मिसाल के तो पर इस distance पर हो, then what will be this distance Z in term of small r and capital R? And then what will be this distance a dash p dash in term of Z? So from figure o a equal to o p dash plus a p dash mean this line this is known as o this is a o a this is known as o this is p dash o p dash and p dash a so by putting the values we obtain z equal to r minus r similarly if this point is if this point p dash is this distance away z distance away from a dash means the distance between a dash and p dash is now is our z 
and this a dash p dash is equal to a dash o plus o p dash simple means ab humne is distance ko a dash p dash distance z ko represent karna hai in term of small r and capital r so we obtain z equal to r plus small r so gravitational potential inside the sphere will be what this one by integration this we obtain this relation gravitational potential is equal to minus g capital m divided by capital r means this g is constant this m is constant this r is constant so it simply means gravitational potential inside the thin spherical shell is independent location of point kya matlab means agar hamare paas ye ek thin spherical shell hai to is point par is point par is point par jo gravitational potential hai wo different hogi means v is inversely proportional to small r but ye hamare paas koi bhi thin spherical shell ho to is point par is point par is point par at each and every point gravitational potential will be same because all values in this expression are constant means gravitational potential inside thin spherical shell be same but outside will be different ab isko hum graphically is tarah bhi denote kar sakte hain ye par inside thin spherical shell gravitational potential is constant so this is our y means gravitational potential along y axis and this is our r distance so inside the shell if this show so inside the shell agar hum dekhe to hamare paas this is show inside the shell gravitational potential at each and every point in this region is constant mean this region show gravitational potential inside the thin spherical shell and this outside thin spherical shell gravitational potential is decrease means the line will be gravitational potential will be very like this one this region show gravitational potential outside the sphere and this region show gravitational potential is constant correct and gravitational potential is negative so therefore it take a long negative y axis this region show gravitational potential of thin spherical shell inside and this show gravitational potential of thin spherical shell outside thank you